I wanted to bring some of the light, shiny tone down into the red, which is good. Gives us a desired effect. I'll try to do it one more time. Don't stroke this too many times and lose it. The bright edge. I'm actually in the red now. But it gives us the effect. See if I can put some more brightness in the beginning here, like that. That's good. You don't have too many chances to redo a stroke, because then the work starts getting harder. Start it up here. Pull some of that red along. I now want to pulling or flattening the hair and pulling the excess paint off of my fingers. And I want to get this smooth where the white and the red come together. Pressing down on there and pulling along and watching how it changes. I'm not going to disturb that, but I'm going to clean up here a little bit. Slight blending. There. Again, I pull off some of the paint. Okay. Now I'm going to continue this effort. I'm just going to fill in some white on the right side where the light surface, shiny surface is. the shoe right there. And that surface curls away and goes under and out of sight. So we can bring in some red and blend. I'm overdoing it there a little bit. for now. don't want to let this go too far, not too much pink. It's more of a sudden change from there's a bit of a glow that leaks down like I'm doing it there. Very good. And I need to end off the right side of this left shoe along its rear area there. Let's see, we got that shoe against this shoe. So we got some more shoe leather here. 
I want to come down and pick up some red right here and then transfer it here. Create another little fold or a surface contour like that. That's all good. I don't want to do too much there. That's good. And with what I've got on my brush, I'm going to attempt to do the sliver of light at the base of this heel against its stitching. My poor feet excess, particularly when I pick up some of that black. Get some fresh white. Work some more of it in here. force it in, pressing down, and then pull it around. And now I take the excess from the brush, and I need to pick up this sharp white edge that was deposited. Just by brushing onto it and pulling it around. Need to do it one more time. I'm going to come out of the red, pick up some red, and push up against the white and pull it around. Yeah, there we go. Now that little bit of white edge actually I think comes all the way down. I'm just going to force this in here. Do a bold stroke all the way down. Just to get that white in there. But now I have to come back and clean up. Um, I need to clean on the shadow side of the um, heel. So I'm putting some heel color onto this brush. And now I'm going to use the sharp edge to trim back Okay, that's good. Let me do some more. Pick up some of the black. Let's pick it up over here. And make sure I make it crisp. Now the uh, light edge to the heel I can now trim from the red side. And I'll just refresh my brush in some red paint. I'm really washing out the white pigment that's in there. Okay. Now I want to trim back the edge of the light tone. Keep, keep my and pull it around. Some light tone. Let's see if I can get it in there. It's not pure white. Now it's going to have to be a smooth stroke all the way down. See some more that we can do right here. And just go with it. Now we've got pure white coming around the corner there at the base. Alright, go again. Now that's very bright and very exaggerated, but we'll we'll fight it back. I'm now gonna pull some of this white up and shake the hair on the brush. I need to clean up. I'm going to pick up some of this dark paint. It's now on the brush, on the, on the underside. And now I put it back down and touch a little bit of the lighter streak and blend with it. And now here at the end though, I need there's a bit of a mess. Left side of the same light streak, I need to subdue that crisp edge. Alright, not bad so far. 
going to wash the brush in some bright red. I want to work this little problem there. It's good, but it can be better. Start up here. Now I'm on the inside of the brightness. Pull it around. Very good. I'm picking up tones, but I wipe it off. Alright, I want to shape that hook down there. It's not quite correct according to the photograph. So I'm going to brush into this dark and blend with it. And then I'm going to push straight down into the stitching. And then end off the stroke pulling along. Okay, that's good. Now I'm just going to do a little bit of finishing up of it. Okay, now I notice that coming right out of that curve and going up, coming out of the curve and going up is a light reflection. It's actually a little brighter. it is brighter over here at the end of all of this. I'll just force that bright red in and blend immediately down to the stitching of the heel at the end of the heel. Alright, now I'm going to pick up some bright, some white, because there's an edge there's an edge on the stitching or where the heel, heel is 